Hey guys, good morning. We just stopped at the post office and I got my retainers, which I'm super excited and nervous for at the same time. So I'm hoping these are gonna fit. Let me see down here. So the thing is, when they scanned me, they no one in the office knew how to scan. That that was part of the problem when I left and I was literally leaving like the next Monday we were flying out to move and they were scanning me on Thursday and that was the last day that their office was open. So it was the only chance I had and I had made that appointment ahead of time, of course, you know, but the, uh, the, the one who scans, she wasn't in the office. And so when I showed up, like they never called me or anything to tell me that there was no one there that knew how to scan. So they were, it was basically the orthodontist who also didn't know how to scan and another quite a young girl who was learning and so she was trying to scan me anyway it was anyway it was <laughs> it was a mess let me tell you it was a total disaster like the whole last part of my experience here but um let me go and pop these in and I'm hoping they fit because they were like well if they don't fit there's nothing anyone can do it's like start over right so I'd have to find a new orthodontist here so ow uh oh. That's really, that, ow, that's super tight. Let's try the bottom now. I'm not happy with how the dentistry work turned out, but I don't want to redo it. Like right, right now, you know, it's like, it just, it was $3,000 and I was pretty upset about the outcome of it, but you know, I'm just, ho I don't want to have to like go in and pay another 3,000 right now. I don't have that to be able to do that anyway, but you know, I hope that these just won't like be so tight that it like cracks my, my crown and uh, veneer on my front teeth. So has that happened? Uh, that happened with well, your other I one, think right? That's what I'm worried about because they tried to make me a retainer in office, but it was like it wasn't good, and it did, they couldn't even get it to fit. And they had scanned me like one day, and then two days later, I went in to get it. So my teeth didn't shift or anything in that time. But the way that they scanned me, or wait, no, I'm sorry, they didn't scan me. They they took molds, um, so like the old school way of doing it instead of scanning digitally. So they manually took molds where they press your teeth into this gummy, gooey stuff and then it hardens up and then they make the uh, retainer trays from that. But yeah, they couldn't, the orthodontist was like forcing them onto my teeth <laughs> and uh, it was just supposed to be a temporary retainer until I got these in because these take a couple weeks to make, although these actually ended up taking over a month to make. Um, but yeah, they, he couldn't even get them on my teeth and he like sent me off out of the office with those. I think that they might have started to create a hairline crack in my in my front tooth and my veneer. So was that the one you had me feel and it felt like yeah. there was like yeah yeah exactly and I can still see it I, when I go to feel it I can't I can't feel it but I can still see that so I think that that set of retainers that they made me in the orthodontist office cracked. Like so when people like ask that. why'd you move off Maui. <laughs> I'll you could, you could go through a list. Add that to my list. Uh, it's very difficult getting good uh, medical, medical or, or dental, dental work. there because I don't know why, but yeah, and don't we know we know some people there. Their kid got sick and yeah, they had to fly to Oahu. Yeah, you have to fly out. You can't have the work done on yeah. Maui. It's just I just didn't, which you should have known better. But oh well. Hey guys, we are in the, the MPD. Mall. Yeah, we're gonna go over to the DMV. Right now we're doing the emissions test, or we're about to. And we're just laughing at the different vehicles going in here. If they can pass, we can pass, right? Like, look at this. <laughs> look at that little dune buggy, though. Wouldn't that be fun to have one of those? Well, hopefully we pass. Um, I mean, our vehicle, it's a 2005 and I mean, it's, it's past smog in California when, uh, but yeah. I've never, uh, they don't have it in Hawaii, so there's been never a need to. Yeah. We only have a safety check out there, which, which is we have to do every year, um, <laughs> but yeah, we don't have an emissions test in Hawaii. Can I uh, recommend Patau on Lower Main and Waiuku? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they were good. So hopefully we pass, I guess we'll find out. And then if we do, then we get to go over next door and go register the truck and get our Arizona license plate. It is nice here, I really like it. People are nice too. I, people I mean, are I friendly. Don't... That was actually one of my biggest concerns was I was really hoping that the people here would be friendly. We didn't want to end up in like a city where, I don't know, where there's just, you know, where people are mean or rude or whatever. Like you want to be around other nice people too. So, so far here, people have been really, really friendly. Uh, and you know, I'm, I'm surprised how, I don't know, 
know, did I mention this already? Like how many of them are like kind of like apologetic about the heat. And I don't. Yeah, people have been very apologetic about the heat. What did you and think? We're of like, uh, it's like so much like Hawaii. I can't even believe it. It's. Yeah, what's yeah, the I mean, time? the dry heat though. I love that. Oh my goodness, I love the feeling of that on my skin. My skin and hair does so much better in the dry. You know, the dry air. Um, it's it's monsoon season right now and so we did have the rain come in just a uh, day before yesterday you know it rained and that was pretty humid it was like 70 percent humidity yesterday morning and it felt exactly like hawaii it was 80 degrees 70 percent humidity i was talking about this on twitter too and uh, i was like this is exactly hawaii weather right now like it felt the same and everything on the skin um, but i really like it when it's dry that is my favorite sunny pure blue sky from you know we're surrounded by mountains here i love the mountains and that blue sky the sunny warmth we're warm weather people so i guess if you don't like warm weather then yeah, I guess people from minnesota like and michigan so and I what mean, is it today is like 97 or uh, something? it's 100 here but is yeah it, it so, doesn't feel bad i mean but i think we had really good training in hawaii because our house used to be in the 90s every day like, plus the humidity. Yeah, plus the, the plus seventy seven percent humidity every day. Um, yeah, our house there used to be super hot and it had a dark roof in the tropics. And oh my goodness, we used to just bake in there. Um, so I think that that actually worked out in our favor because now this feels like really easy to like. It doesn't feel bad at all the heat here. So I think it was really good training uh, training out there. All right, okay, we're almost up to bat here. I'll let you guys know if we pass the test or not. Okay, we passed. Now we're on our way to the DMV or the MVD. MVD is that what they call it here? Okay. Hey guys, we came up to A Mountain. The A is right by me there. And we're just checking out the views. Uh, we went to the DMV this morning, or I guess they call it the MVD here, and we got our licenses uh, for Arizona. Um, the temporary ones, anyway. So they give you like the piece of paper with basically. Uh, like a copy of your license and then the real ones will come in the mail so I'm stoked that we got that taken care of our trucks already already registered um, and I just have to finish off with the insurance there's all these little things all these details you got to take care of when you move we're at Tamarico's how's that tortilla soup oh this is a different good. one than last yeah night. they changed the recipe or they changed the uh, menu every day we should have so got one it looks good I can't wait for those tacos to get here I'm starving so we're gonna have lunch, and then what's planned for this afternoon? Do you want to take him by the house and show? Yeah, show him. Yeah. So did so. I mention that yet? We we rented a place. I vlogged a little bit of it for you guys, but we went all over looking at different places, and this was the first application we turned in, and we got it. Um, There's other people there at the same time wanting to get it too, so yep. we, we were pretty lucky. I, I think we've been lucky this whole time. And that's better instead mm -hmm. of two massive places. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Try. Go oh, there's it. three. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, look at that pico de gallo on there. Yes. Hey guys, I'm in a thrift store right now. Why am I always attracted to the weirdest things? Look at this. What can I do with this? I love camels. Michael's running around here somewhere. I don't know where he is. This is a big one. Oh, there he is. Okay. Think about it. <laughs> Think about it. I'll be back. I feel like maybe I could turn that into something. How much is that one for sale? 400. Are you kidding? 400? Yeah, it's in 400. Does it really? Texas, Texas Rose, yep, 400. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> Gold plated? <laughs> Hey guys, we're at an estate sale right now and I just bought a plant over here, ponytail palm. So we've been doing estate sales all morning, I'm just going around to all of them. I can't believe how many are here in Tucson, it's so much fun. So I'm just waiting for Michael, he just went and put his stuff away in the truck and then he's going to come back and help me carry this pot because it's a big, it's a huge terracotta pot. Okay, so here's my, my new ponytail palm. Looks like a good one. Hey guys, so I wanted to let you know that we were out house hunting and we got a call that we had gotten this place. Um, so we do have a house now, which is fantastic because it was getting a little bit, um, well, I was getting nervous about finding a place because we didn't realize how hard it was going to be. There's so many students coming in. I guess there's like 80,000 students because the U of A is here in Tucson. 
and they all come flooding in right about this time and start snapping up all the houses. So yeah, we were pretty nervous about getting a place because so many, like everywhere we went was already getting snapped up. So we're like, oh shoot, okay. We thought this was gonna be like a good time of year to come in because we thought it was like slow season or the off season being that it's summertime, you know, in the Southwest. But um, yeah, it turned out to be more difficult than we had planned on. <laughs> we thought we'd be able to get a place pretty easily. But anyway, this was our first application that we turned in and we got it so we we're excited about that because we didn't know like how you know because there was other people here when we actually came to look at this place another couple was already here looking at it and then uh like during that time like they had left and then another couple came like just within like a 15 or 20 minute period so there's several other people that were trying to get this house too um but yeah our application was approved so we're gonna be renting here and I'll take you around. Um, we already met. I already paid the deposit and everything. Um, and our, our uh, the property management guy, he already left. Um, so it's all closed up right now. Let me see if I can show you anything. Like, I'm trying to think. Like, what can I show you around here? Because it's all closed up inside, so I don't get to show you the indoors yet. Um, yeah, we already closed up all the windows and stuff. Uh, but I'll take you to the backyard here. The backyard's pretty big, so I'll be able to have like a little garden here so there's a backyard patio area here um you know it's not nothing fancy or anything but it's large and it'll be plenty of room to do projects and diys and you know in case i've got to like spray paint stuff or whatever this is going to work out a lot better having a house rather than an apartment because for a little while we did think we might have to move into an apartment um, if we couldn't find a regular house but with michael's tools and his job and everything it we kind of need to have some space to be able to work since we both work you know kind of out of our house full sort of yeah i mean we do shows and stuff too for like the jewelry and uh, gym shows and things like that but yeah for the most part we do so many projects and work around the house that it, it would work out better not being an apartment um although there's some nice ones around here we've got a cactus back here we've got some palo verde yeah like one i guess a little palo verde tree there so yeah i'll have to wait until move-in day when i can do a little tour of the house um we don't have any furniture, so it's gonna be very empty. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty barren in there. We don't even have a bed right now. So we'll be sleeping on the floor until we find a bed. So yeah, um, it'll be kind of like camping, but you know, actually not. It's like we won't be sleeping with the gerbils or anything. So it's 1,500 square feet and the rent is $995 a month. Um, our old place in Maui, the little cottage, was uh, just less than 500 square feet and it was $1,100 a month. So you definitely get more for your money here. There's the front of the house. Got a little palm tree and then out on the side here. Oh, I should show you this cactus too. Do you want to introduce this beast? So. I bought this cactus uh, yesterday Craigslist. on Craigslist and when I was looking at it on Craigslist I couldn't tell that it had glockids. Glockids are the hairs the cactus have. Not the, big spines. the hairs are the yeah no the big spines no problem. The hairs are the problem with these things. They are awful. Oh my goodness like if the wind blows or you bump it those hairs blow off in the wind and embed themselves and they'll get in your skin. So I've been carrying around these tweezers which you guys know why, because when we went to move that thing, we should have covered it with uh, like a plastic garbage bag or something because, oh my goodness, poor Michael. He got it, he touched it and it got on his forearms Arms, and hands, his legs, leg. his pants. <laughs> the, those little hairs got yeah, all over the just, place. Those, those little hairs. Yeah. Yeah, so don't. It's tough to see with the camera, but. Yeah, well, they're tough they're to see when they get in your skin too. They just they look like you can't even see them when they're on your skin, but oh man, you can feel them. So I've been carrying around the tweezers so I can <laughs> pluck pluck them out of our skin. Uh, Michael's way worse than me, but I I just got some like on my hands and my side and my foot, and I didn't even like touch the thing hardly. You know, just like just from blowing in the wind. Anyway, so needless to say, as much as I love cactus. I, I hate glockids and I will not ever purchase another cactus that has glockids in it. So no cactus hair for me. I don't mind the spines, just no glockids. How do you feel about that? Are you good with that too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I forgot there was cactus back there too. Okay, so you know you could get have the javelinas back there. there. You could roast some vegan marshmallows. <laughs> what do you suppose happened to that? It blew down in the storm. 
Oh, the storm. See, there's hardly any. I mean, I don't even know if these are glockids in here or not. Touch it and see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, this one has much less of the glockids. It's more spine, less hair. The other one is much more hairy. So that'll stab you before you get close enough to the glock. <laughs> All right. Which is better. Yeah, so I was. Ho I guess I was thinking it was gonna be that kind, but it turned out to be that. And, uh, it wasn't as purple, it had... Yeah, well, then she said when I showed up that the picture that was on Craigslist was taken last spring. I'm like, oh, that's why it looks so different when I showed up to buy it. And then I was like already like in the midst of the sale and I'm like, oh. So we just got the keys to the new house that we're renting in Tucson. So I'll do a little tour with you guys. And it's not like a fancy place or anything, but it is large. There's a lot more space than what we're used to. And there's way more storage than what we're used to too, so that's good. But this is the living area. It's got a fireplace. There's two doors. We got the front door, and then there's another door that leads out to the carport. There's a nice big carport out here. So the kitchen is kind of different, you know, it's got the, the contrasting wood with the white. Um, that's a full-size kitchen though, that's nice because we haven't had that before. So we'll actually get to do some cooking videos in here, I can't wait for that. So yeah, lots of storage space, huh? Lots of cabinets. And then over here is where the washer and dryer would go. Um, I'm mostly just concerned about having a washer for now, not as you know concerned about the dryer at this point, because there's a nice big backyard out here and we can hang dryer clothes just like we did in Maui for the most part. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely need to get a washer. We don't have one right now. So you know, it is an old house. It was built in the 70s and it's not like, you know, bright and shiny new, like, you know, stuff is a little bit uh, older, you can tell. So there's the back door that goes out to the backyard. So this is two bedroom, two bath. So there's the first bath. And then this is the master bedroom here. That door goes out to the backyard. Um, got a little closet there. And then this is the second bath here. Master bath. And then this is the second room. So this is gonna be our office slash, um, you know, I guess my filming room and I'll probably have my vanity in here. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to work it out and figure out, you know, I'll talk to Michael and see how much space he wants for the desk and all that. And then I can work around that. I've got uh, a pumice stone down there, two ponytail palms, a ficus, a little fat ficus. Look at this. Look at those, they look like little yams or something, huh? That's roots. So cool though. I like the pot too. I got that at Ikea. And these are the ponytail palms. So those, those guys gotta get repotted. And then that's my pumice stone. This is a planter, by the way, so it's got a little hole in here. Let me take this out. This is another little um, adenium obesum. Just a little baby guy. So see, this is drilled out, so that'll be a planter pot for indoors. You can use that outside too, but you know, you just pot up your plant or whatever you want in there, or you can just set a pot in there and have it growing out of there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have that for indoors. And this is my little prickly pear snow cactus. It's all fuzzy. And we have a walk-in closet, um, so that'll be nice for the light in here. Does that work? Yep. Okay. Dining area. Yes. We've already got our dining table. Yeah. Yes. I got that for $30 at a thrift store. I can't wait to set that up. So do you want this to be your bathroom? No, this is yours. This will be mine and you yeah. want the other bathroom? That one's mine. This one's all you. Okay. Which one do you want? Uh, I don't care. I'm easy. Well, you I can have whatever you want. Yeah, whatever one you like this. Okay, so this will be my bath. So yeah, I think the couch is going to kind of wrap around here and it'll just kind of shoot out from that wall. Um, that's the best way that I can figure to kind of deal with the, the way the living room is kind of shaped because it's sort of like oblong like that. You know, it'd be easier if it was more square and you could get, I don't know, you could get closer to the fireplace without blocking this part off. And then this is all open here for a walk space. So we, we're just trying to uh, 
be able to get the sectional in here without like blocking too much of anything. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking for that. But yeah, that'll be nice. Uh, I've got a plant outside right now too. I should bring that in the backyard. My little ponytail palm sitting out there. I should get that in here. Mm.